simple and delicious prime rib direct heat style on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Let's go. Prime rib season is here and we're taking this six pound standing rib roast and we're cooking it direct heat style on the Weber Smoky Mountain. I've been doing a lot of cooks direct heat style on the Weber Smoky Mountain, which is essentially just taking that water pan out of there and letting anything that comes off the meat drip down into the coals and it imparts this great flavor, this great aroma. It's kind of a hybrid between smoking and grilling. Tastes fantastic. It cooks a little bit higher, but that's okay. We have this beautiful rib roast here you can see that it has great marbling we've got the great cap on here i really think this is going to come out great never done a prime rib in this method before we're going to season this up simply using kosher salt coarse black pepper and some meat dave all-purpose seasoning this combination is great salty peppery and that meat dave all-purpose seasoning has a kick to it it's got a bunch of red pepper flakes in there so it's only going to add to the flavor we're going to hit it liberally because it is a big hunk of meat so you want to make sure it's seasoned all over get yourself a nice kosher salt. I'm using diamond crystal kosher salt. I really like the texture and the flavor of this salt. And we're going to hit it all over. Now you can make the decision to cut these strings off, pull these ribs back, season in between, and restring them. I don't have any butcher's twine, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to season around the whole outside here. Get all the sides. And we're gonna hit it with that Pork Mafia coarse black pepper, it's number 16 mesh. And finally, the Meat Dave all-purpose seasoning. Like I said, this stuff is great by itself, but it really adds to flavor when you're layering it. This also adds a little bit of garlicky and some other notes in there as well. And you get that season good and done. Perfectly seasoned up. Let's go get that Weber Smoky Mountain fired up while this sits. And we let that seasoning really start to adhere. For the direct heat method, I like starting with some unlit Jealous Devil lump charcoal. And I'll put that into a little pile. Start with a lighter cube. And once that fire really starts to get going a bit in the middle, that's when I'll put it all back together. I don't want this fire to get out of control and get hot while the top's off. So we'll go ahead and get the top on right away. And then we're gonna open up the vents. Top vent, we're gonna do maybe a third of the way open and the bottom vents, we're gonna do about half of the way open. This should give us a good airflow to maintain a good temperature. I'm not necessarily looking to control how hot or cold the temp of the smoker gets. I'm only looking to get this internal temperature to about 128 or so in the middle 130 in the middle then we're going to pull it off let it rest slice it up so let's go get that fired up when it's ready to put on we'll throw this on the grill grills up to temp we're at about 250 275 mark and it's only going to get a little hotter as we cook we could always control the vents from that but that's where i like to cook it and we'll see where it's going to go let's get this rib on Now this is going directly above the flame. Juices are gonna land and come back up and impart amazing flavor. Now, I am gonna take a temp probe and put it directly into the middle. As this cooks, the outsides are gonna cook faster than the inside, so this is gonna be more well done. This is gonna be more rare. So we're gonna shoot for our internal temp at about 128 here, and then this will be in the 130s probably, 135 or so, which is the way my wife likes it. I am gonna have a temp probe on the grate just so we can monitor and I can report back to you what our cooking temps were for the duration of the cook. Now I close that down right away because I don't want that flame growing too high. I don't want to get too crazy hot during the cooking process. We do want to go somewhat low and slow but it is going to build a little bit higher of a heat so this is on and we're just going to ride it out see how long it takes and maybe come back give it a spritz here in a little bit i'm only expecting a couple hours to get this up to temperature we'll be back when it's time to check on it About an hour and a half in, we're gonna go check this out. I haven't opened it yet. Wanna see what we're looking at. We're at about 85 degrees internal and the grill's been running at about 325 degrees, 330, somewhere in that range. Let's go take a quick look, see how we're doing. 
This is looking gorgeous, looking great. We're gonna close it up, let it keep running. No need to do anything right now. It's looking juicy and delicious. So we're gonna close it up and let it run out until we get to that internal temperature of about 125, 128 degrees. So it's coming off the grill. We got this temping in the center at 128, exactly where we wanted it. On the outsides, we're looking more at the 130s. Perfect. This is gonna carry over cook while we wrap it. into the cooler, closed up, and we're gonna come back in about a half an hour, slice it up and try it. It is looking gorgeous, and I can't wait to dig into this because the smell here, amazing. This direct heat cook method with the Weber Smoky Mountain really has been a game changer. I've been doing a lot of different cooks this way. I have a whole playlist set up of different direct heat cooks you could check out, but we'll be back when it's time to slice and taste. It's been resting for about a half hour in the cooler. I brought it in the house, brought it back outside. Let's slice it up. Now this prime rib looks absolutely gorgeous. Dripping with juices, perfect color. Let's cut these strings off. Make a nice mess popping that off. But you see this bone was ready to come off. Gonna hack that off right there, right down. Now we're just gonna cut these into steaks. Oh yeah, perfect color. Look at that. My goodness, does this look and smell great. Look at this thing, look at this. Beautiful. Let's give this a taste. Take a piece off this end cap here. You get that wonderful beef flavor, but you also get that great direct heat flavor. Where you get that flavor imparted into the meat from the drippings hitting the coals. You got a good smoky grilled flavor, great outside. So I took a bite from this outside and man, it is delicious. You got that great seasoning on there. That fat just rendered perfectly. Oh gosh, that's good. Well, there you have it everybody, direct heat, prime rib on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Crushed it as it has been doing lately. This Weber Smoky Mountain is a direct heat cooker, is amazing. If you like what we did here, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check me out on social media and we will talk to you all soon. Thanks again everybody, peace.